My name's Murray Hallam. Whoa, look at that. What a beauty. And I want to show you around my aquaponic setup. From now on, this fish will grow much more slowly, but it's possible it will get up to five or six kilos if I keep it long enough. There's a lot of mystery surrounding aquaponics, but we want to demystify that totally for you in this video. So if we've got a 1,000 litre tank, for example, we can have 1,000 litres in volume of grow bed. Look at this beautiful fish. Today, we'll show you several different systems and how they work. And what will happen is then the water will be sucked up through these slots. And you simply slide the lock up and that's all there is to it. We'll show you how to assemble a system. You must never get them mixed up. They must always say red to red, black to black. We'll show you how to assemble a system from recycled materials, if that's what you want to do. Or how to assemble a system that you've pre-purchased, all ready to go, in a kit form. By the time you get to the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to put an aquaponic system together. If you get down to this level and this level, and if you get down to here, you're going to have dead fish, I'm sorry to tell you. You'll understand how it all works. You'll understand what to do to make it work properly. You'll understand about the bacteria and all the other things put up as mysteries by people. But you'll understand how to make it work so that you can produce beautiful, clean, organic fruit and vegetables and fish at your place. What is aquaponics? Aquaponics is the successful integration of the best of aquaculture and the best of hydroponics. In aquaculture, the fish are fed, the fish are raised in either ponds or tanks or enclosures, and the fish are fed, and the fish of course produce waste. And dealing with that waste becomes a real problem in aquaculture projects. Very elaborate filtration systems are used to try and keep the water pure, but eventually the water has to be discarded, and the water is pumped out into dams or into rivers or local streams or some way of being disposed of which can become a problem. Hydroponics has a similar problem in that hydroponics use, uses uh, nice clean water that they add uh, nutrient chemicals to and as it is circulated and the plants are grown some of those nutrients become out of balance and eventually that water um, nutrient mixture has to be replaced and water has to be discarded and once again that nutrient rich water is discarded in um, creeks or rivers or dams or in some kind of enclosure and it becomes a problem for those kind of technologies. But in aquaponics we don't have those problems because we can continuously, never endingly, recirculate the water. Because the water is, uh, comes from the fish tank, nutrient rich, those nutrients are converted by good bacteria to nutrients that the plants can use, the plants consume the nutrients and the water is returned to the fish tank clean for the fish to use it again. So it's a closed loop system and that must be understood from day one and that's what makes aquaponics so absolutely wonderful, especially in a dry thirsty land like Australia where water is at an absolute minimum. We can produce, have a high, high density food production system that produces both plant matter and fish in the one system for the absolute minimum of water usage. A common question asked by people is, how many fish can I put in a system and how many grow beds do I need to balance my fish tank? Because aquaponics is all about balance. We must achieve balance in the system because that's how nature works. And really in aquaponics what we're doing is employing the best features of nature to provide us with beautiful fish and vegetables, clean organic fish and vegetables for our home. So as a rule of thumb, we find that the number of grow beds to the volume of fish tank, it's actually a volume thing. So if we've got a 1,000 litre tank, for example, we can have 1,000 litres in volume of grow bed. Now that's a good, safe, manageable way to do it. One to one ratio. You can push it to three to one, actually, in big commercial systems, that's what we do. We build it to a, a system of three, three lots of grow beds to uh, one ratio of the fish tank. But for domestic systems, one to one is really good. Actually, in this system, you can see we've actually got three grow beds, and the ratio here is actually only three quarters to one. So we could actually put more grow beds on this, quite a number if we wanted to. We can stack another on the side, another on the side, and another on the back if we wanted to, to make them do a really dynamic uh, veggie producing system. Now as to the number of fish we put in a tank, the ratio that I like to work to is one fish per 10 litres of water, or one fish 
per two and a half gallons of water. Some of you might think that's a bit high, but it's not really. Because for example, if we were to start off with this tank here, which is 900 and something litres, which is near enough to a thousand litres for the mathematics of it, that means with one fish per 10 litres, we could put 100 baby fish in here for them to grow out for us to eat. And you might look at the tank and think, oh, that's terrible, that's so crowded. But it's not really, because what happens is the fish don't grow at all the same rate. And as the fish come up towards the 12 month period, you'll find that the heavy eaters, the ones that are the, the gutses of the family, so to speak, they'll grow much more quickly. So they'll be the first that we'll introduce to the barbecue. So at nine months down the track, we will start taking fish out on a weekly basis to eat the fish. And when we do that, the fish that are left behind will grow up more rapidly, you'll find. A few more fish will grow up rapidly. So we will be harvesting that, that bunch of fish right down to the last fish for about four or five months. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Sometimes I get asked by people, a common thing is, someone rings up, they're usually a retiree, their kids have left home, and they've got this beautiful big swimming pool, 50 or even 100,000 litre swimming pool, and they say, wow, I'm into this aquaponics, I'm gonna fill it up with fish. The problem with that is, again, is, one, is the ratio. Because if you had 100,000 litres of swimming pool filled with fish, which would be wonderful, you would need 100,000 litres of volume of grow bed to balance it. And in most suburban situations, that would be simply impossible. You'd have to knock the house down to put grow beds there. So the, the scenario of a swimming pool really won't work in an aquaponics situation because you can't get the number of grow beds that you need to balance the system. And I just emphasise over and over again, Mother Nature requires that we have a balance in the system. If you've got an unbalanced system, you'll, you'll defeat the entire purpose. You'll have plant growth that's not rigorous, you'll have fish that are not healthy, and that's just not on. strawberries here and here. Look, there's more of them everywhere you look. More, more strawberries coming up here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> All grown on fish food. Wonderful, wonderful strawberries. Oh, look what I found. Oh, how awful. I think I'll have to eat it. Mmm. Yeah, people often comment that come here to visit our garden. They comment on how green everything is. And it's true. And when we first started growing it, both my wife and I used to comment that the lettuce looked almost as if they were made of plastic. They're so, so healthy and so strong. Look at that beautiful cost lettuce leaf. You can grow lettuce in one of these systems. It takes 24 days in a little seed pot to raise the lettuce seed from planting it to get it ready to plant out. And putting in this garden bed, 24 days later, you've got a mature lettuce. And the reason the plants are so, are so healthy, there's really no mystery to it, is the plants are constantly supplied with water. Every 12 minutes the system goes and the garden bed is completely flooded. And of course they are constantly supplied with beautiful nutrient from the fish. So the plants have always got plenty of nutrient and plenty of water. So why wouldn't they be perfect plants? Let's do a recap of what we've learned in this video. The first thing I hope we've established with you is that aquaponics is really easy. You just have to follow a few basic rules, use a bit of common sense, and you can have a very successful aquaponics system. The first thing I just want to recap is ratio. A lot of people ask questions about that. Remember the ratio, the safe ratio for a home system is one to one by volume. So one volume of fish tank to one volume of grow bed. And remember the ideal depth for a grow bed is 300 millimeter or one foot. You could have shallower than that if you want to, remember we talked about that, but you'll get best results with a one foot or 300 millimetre deep grow bed. So the ratio is one to one of water to grow bed. How many fish can I have? Well once again a safe ratio for home is one fish per 10 litres of water or one fish for every two and a half gallons of water. And that is based on the assumption that the fish are not all going to grow at the same rate and wind up as fully mature fish all at the same time. Remember, if in doubt, cut the volume of fish down just a little bit. You can always add more fish later. The other thing is volume of water, overall volume of water. The smaller the system and the less water you have in the system, the more prone the system is to instability. And we have found in our experimenting with different size systems that 1,000 litres or about 250 gallons is really about the minimum size system you can have and expect to have some stability. You can go smaller if you want to, but expect instability, expect big pH swings and temperature swings. What veggies can I grow in the system? Well, you can grow pretty much anything that grows above the ground. And you can grow some root crops too. But any kind of salad veggie or stuff that grows above the ground, tomatoes, corn, lettuce, 
All sorts of greenery can be successfully grown in an aquaponic system. All sorts of herbs. I have seen people with really wonderful herb gardens grown in an aquaponic system. What fish can I grow? Well, once again, we've covered the Australian natives uh, with jade perch, silver perch, barramundi, murray cod, sleepy cod, and of course for uh, the Americas and for uh, Europe, uh, there's some perches that are really good, and tilapia is really the big one that people grow very successfully all over the world. So I feed my fish. Remember, we've covered that. There are various ways. We could be lazy and use commercially available pellets, but if we want to avoid that, we can have a worm farm, we can have a, a black fly larvae farm, we can feed our, our fish lettuce and other such things as that. We can have a light above our tank and have insects fall into it. There's all sorts of ways we can be economical and give our fish a good wide variety of diet. And how do I cycle my system? Uh, it's only really a problem for the first six or eight weeks, remember, in the early stages of the system. Uh, what I would always recommend people to do, first thing you do, set up your system, get everything cycling, your pumps are all working, everything's going great, plant your plants, put the plants in, get them going. Keep your plants going with some sea salt, some seaweed extract to get the plants going. Then add your fish. And remember, whilst you, as soon as you put the fish in and you start feeding, there's a possibility of an ammonia spike while, you, while the good bacteria sets up in your, in, your, in your tanks and wells. What you need to do is, if you have an ammonia spike, change some water out, a one-third water change. And remember the slogan, when in doubt, change the water out. And the last thing, but not least of all, is bon appetit. Remember, have fun. You're growing good, clean, wholesome food for you and your family. And you can do it at home at your place. Excuse me, if you don't mind, I want to eat now. Thank you. This is just terrific. <laughs>